Yeah, hello, it's Keith. Um, it's a while since I've been doing training videos. Um, I did a lot, and I hope a lot of people who actually watched my videos in the past have actually learned a little bit. Um, time's moving on now, and a lot of it, everybody understands what an inverter is and how battery systems work, and a lot of people understand the efficiencies, um, how efficiencies are calculated. Um, so I've decided to start focusing a little bit more on CNI um, as a, an electrical engineer, Sparky, as everyone who knows me, um, never hide the fact I actually, as a, I'm a tradesman, I'm an electrician, industrial electrician, so I did my apprenticeship. So I'm going to focus a lot more onto the CNI range at commercial industrialized industrial products and to understand and trying to explain what the key components are of a CNI system um, and what we're trying to do is a uh, something. A lot of people are working on CNI and they're working on sort of big systems and using a string inverter, um, basically lots of panels in series and connecting to an on-grid or some people using the smaller systems using hybrid. I think nowadays the market is changing and more and more people want more power. And I talk to people, I talk to installers, and a number of installers are a little bit nervous. They're not so clear what's needed. And it's going a little bit like going back to the original times of the, when the inverters, the first hybrid inverters came about and trying to understand and understand about how it works. A lot of it is keeping simplicity. And I think it's simplicity is the most important thing. Keep it simple. Keep it understanding, and I would say to any installer, please make sure you fully understand what you're installing. Understand it clearly. Understanding the EMS, the energy management system, understand its functions, understand how to program it. And if you don't understand the basics, then that's a problem. So I want to try to teach and train the basics of CNI. If you're interested in joining these webinars, um, then I will I will put a link, but just send me a message or put a link below. Um, we'll keep it, we'll keep you posted when I'm going to be doing them. But a lot of it I want to include is explaining the various components, the key components that make up a CNI, which is using the PCS's power control systems, your BMU, your battery management units, your various components, your STS, static transfer switch or seamless transfer switch, whatever you want to call it. Um. So these are the various components, obviously your MPPTs, um, your maximum peak power tracker for connecting your, your panels and understand the issues and understanding the positives and the negatives and the best way to, to work it. You know, as, as people know me, I'm a big advocate of air cooling systems. Um, I do like, I do much prefer air cooling because it's a serviceability. Um, basically, um, you know, I always think if you're if you're out on a site and you have to service it, and I've been there, and and I had a terrible experience with generators. And I know nothing about generators. I'm not a mechanical engineer. I'm an electrical engineer, and a and a generator failed for mechanical reasons. And I'm looking at it because this is not my thing. I'm not a clue. I don't know how to fix it. A, a, a diesel generator has got a mechanical fault. No idea. And so. I like to really work on things that I fully understand. And hopefully I can share with some of the experience and some of what I'm going through, because I'm obviously going through a huge learning curve because these things are changing all the time. There's no sort of people, some people say to me, oh, we are the experts. We know everything about CNI or everything. I say, how long have you been making them for? Oh, we've been making them for at least a year. You know, there's no, there's very few experts. You know, up until very recently, most battery storages were lead acid batteries or flow batteries. Um, this was a blast from the past. There's flow batteries, mechanical batteries, and more recent times, and obviously lithium phosphate uh, batteries have come on the market, but they are fairly recent. The, the people haven't got mega years of experience. Um, so, you know, whoever's their experience is learning from the classroom or learning from site. Uh, 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 it's all new, and you know I'm the same. I'm gonna, I will admit it. You know, I'm in no difference. I'm the same as you guys. Um, I'm at the front end, the coal face, and I'm, you know we were involved in the development, 
Um, and as we go through what we're learning and understanding, then I think it's important, you know, and, and, and even things, recent things I've come across, um, which, which have been interesting to me, which I've also learning. And I will share with you what I've learned and I'll share with you the experiences we've had and making these products better. And together we can do something absolutely amazing. You know, something, you know, we're a small family business. And I've always say to people, we're not some faceless corporation. We, you know, this is it. We're, we're a small business. And let's do it together. Let's work together and make something amazing. So if you are interested in understanding a bit more about commercial industrial products, understanding the basic wiring, looking how you connect the components together, the gauges, the cables, the EMS, the cloud, how it all works, how it all comes together, um, how to service it. Because we're, we're going to do service calls. We're going to go on look at repairing. We'll do the lot. We're going to do absolutely everything. Um, I put a re video up recently. They were testing one of our um, power hubs, or a couple of our power hubs are going out on new LK range power hubs. Um, we're sending over to Tanzania and there's one going into Philippines. We will follow those. Um, we'll follow them on the video and we'll do we'll do updates and we'll look about not just about installation of these products and the wiring of the product, but also the commissioning and the maintenance, you know, what can go wrong, how to service it, and to give you guys a really, really good in-depth understanding about how the CNI works. So Thanks for following us, this short video. Um, this is a serious business. It's really serious. Um, and the most important thing, that, you know, you've got to understand CNI, you are de dealing with high voltages, lots of dangers there. Safety is the most important thing. So this is why I'm doing this, but obviously this will work in conjunction with the mandatory safety requirements in the various countries and the mandatory legal electrical standards for everything because you know this is also a generic overview and give you a basic understanding so thanks for following us and by the way i am in hong kong and it is raining <laughs> so listen if you are interested and want to follow this i'm going to do everything what we did on the basic inverters take you guys through into something different, and because this is all about power now. People want more power. Anyway, thanks for following. Thank you. Bye-bye.